obviously I just set everything up for this video and my son Fraser has just come and sat in my bed. So please excuse him. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very, very highly requested. It is my skincare routine. So today I'm gonna to talk you through the products that I use daily in the morning and in the evening and show you how I use them as well. I would say that my skin is combination skin. I do have a tendency to get a little bit more oily um, down my T-zone, but then I also can get quite dry sort of on these parts as well. So it's definitely a combination, sort of normal. It's not greasy, it's kind of just like a normal skin. So I have quite good skin. It's definitely cleared up since I got into my 30s but I definitely suffer from hormonal changes. So if there is a fluctuation of hormones like pregnancy or my time of the month or anything like that, that will definitely affect how my skin is. Um, and I am definitely getting some fine lines now as well um, around my eyes, on my forehead. Um, and worst of all, I think is my neck. So I'm making a big effort to do skincare on my neck as much as my face. Some of you may also know that my husband owns two salons in Essex, a ladies one and a men's one. So I'm lucky enough that I can get skincare advice whenever I need it. If you wanted to change up your skincare routine or just relook at it if you were having some acne or problems like that, I would really recommend going to a professional salon and talking to a specialist there. Lots of places will offer something called face mapping where they will look at all the areas of your skin and recommend different products for you and then they will give you samples to go away with and try for a week so you don't buy anything. Try it all first see if you get a reaction, see how your skin copes with it, and then go back and buy it. So definitely try things for free first. That's what I would recommend. Hey, you've got lovely skin. <laughs> I'll put the links down below to my husband's salons as well. If anyone is in the Essex area, I would highly recommend it. So on to my morning routine. My morning routine is really simple. It is just three steps and I will always wake up and wash with the Elemis Biotech Skin Energizing Cleanser. Yeah, I really love the Elemis range and I will use the very tiniest bit of this product and mix it with loads of water. I refuse to believe that my skin gets dirty during the night when I am laying on my pillow. I'm literally just washing off the tiny bit of oil that has got onto my face. So I will wash with this and then I will tone with the LMS Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. This is an amazing toner, I love it so much. It makes my skin feel comfortable and refreshed. And the best thing about toner, I think, is that it makes your moisturizer go such a long way. So as soon as I've sprayed this on, I will then moisturize with the LMS Biotech Skin Energizing Day Cream, and I will literally just use one and a half pumps of this, or one or two pumps, you really don't need much at all. Yeah, I love this moisturizer because it is really hydrating, it makes my skin feel comfortable, and I think my makeup sits really well on it after I have used this. And for my evening routine, I always double cleanse. I think it's really important to take all of your makeup off and then also wash the skin when there's no makeup on. So the first step I do is I take off all of my makeup with a Dermalogica pre-cleanse wipe. It feels quite oily, but it is really good at getting all of my makeup off. So I will literally just wipe my face over with that, which is nice and quick. But if you don't have wipes like this, definitely just a double cleanse with the normal cleanser that you use will have the same effect. So once my makeup's off, I will then wash my face with the Elemis Biotech Skin Energizing Cleanser again. This is the anti-aging one, this is the one I use in the morning, but in the evening, I definitely use a little bit more product than I did in the morning. I'll probably use like two pumps of it. Yeah, so I'll wash with that and then my next step would be to exfoliate. Now, I'm really naughty, I don't do this every night. If I'm busy or I'm tired, I leave this step out, but my husband always says that you should exfoliate every day. Um, so this is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. It is like a really fine sand. So you'll just put some of this in your hand, mix it with water, and then do a quick exfoliation as well. Or you can even mix this with your cleanser and kind of do an exfoliation and a wash at the same time if you don't have much time like me. Um, but this is a really lovely product. It sort of is a nice way of gently exfoliating every day. Then once I've done that, I will tone my face, and it's the same toner as I use in the morning. It 
is the Elemis Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. Again, this is probably one of my favorite products. I love it so much. Once I've toned my face, I add in a step that is not in my morning routine at all, but I will apply two or three drops of 100% pure organic rose hip oil. Um, and this is quite new to my skincare routine. I probably started doing about three or four months ago. I started adding this to my skincare regime because through work and vlogging, I got to meet um, a reality star, Sam Fares, and her skin in real life it's amazing she's very very beautiful and she said that she swears by using 100% pure organic rosehip oil on her face and um, I've started to use it and I really think I can see the difference my skin seems more like illuminated and it's very hydrating which is why I don't put it on in the morning because I don't feel like my makeup sits as well on the oil um, so I will just put it on at night and sleep with it on my face but I really really love it and apparently it's supposed to be really good if you have any scarring on your face then once I've done the rosehip oil I will use my Elemis Biotech Skin Energizing night cream so it's the same night cream as my day cream it's a lot smaller but it goes such a long way i will literally just do one pump and that does my whole face and my neck so it does really go a very long way yeah so that is basically my morning skincare routine and my evening skincare routine as well there are just two other products that i wanted to show you one is a face mask that i will use maybe once every two weeks or really kind of use it if I have something coming up, like if I'm going out on a night out or I've got an event or something to film, I will use this skincare mask because I feel like it's really exfoliating and it really brightens up my skin. This is the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Gel Mask. So with this, I will just apply a thin layer all over my face and neck. You leave it on for eight to 10 minutes and it's scary the first time you use it because it really really does tingle it has like quite a powerful tingle because it has active ingredients on your face so you leave it on and then you just take it off with like a nice flannel with hot warm water i think i can really see a difference in my fine lines after i use it i think it really kind of softens them the last product i wanted to tell you about is what fake tan i use on my face and i do fake tan my face at least once a week um, and if I have like an event or a party or something like that coming up I will fake tan my face again um, you can tell it is very very extremely well used this is a fake bakes fake tan and it is just called the face anti-aging self tanning lotion in a 60 mil and I love it it goes on really really nicely I use gloves to apply it so that I don't get any orange hands and I will just do my whole face right into my hairline my ears my neck around the back of my neck and all the way down to my decolleté and it goes a really long way really really good one and it's anti-aging so it doesn't like dry your skin out like some other fake tans can um, but yeah I love it and I think it gives me like quite a natural glow so yes that is it for my skincare products I really hope you like this video and ask me any other questions you have in the comments below and I will make sure that I reply thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos I have a makeup essentials video coming out next week which is also highly requested so thank you and I'll see you soon